The Dutch, famous for their tulips, cheese, and liberal thinking. Every year around December, something strange happens in their little country. A tradition that most foreign people don't quite understand. Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas is like Santa Claus, but with a different wardrobe. Each year he travels from Spain by boat, which he later trades for a white horse that walks on rooftops. He doesn't have Santa's little elves. He has his own helpers that slide down the chimney and leave presents in the shoes of excited kids if they've been good all year round. They are called peats, and that's where the trouble begins. According to the tradition, Pete's face is black because of the soot in chimneys. For Dutch kids from all ethnicities, the black paint just adds to the mystery. It's a disguise that makes them uncertain if Pete is real or a dressed-up neighbor. They just love the tradition, a Dutch version of Christmas. Others associate Pete with discrimination. To them, his dark paint, red lips, and frizzy hair are a racist caricature that harks back to the Dutch colonial era. Like the blackface makeup of the 19th century American theater. They say the Dutch have become blind to the way the tradition looks. Due to globalization, a once isolated tradition is now visible to the world. Tradition and history both represent an important piece in every culture. They define a past, shape who people are today, and who they're likely to become. That's why both parties are so passionate about their opinion. So how can the tradition of Sinterklaas survive the next century? Well, the Dutch can't change their history, but they can change a tradition. They were the first in the world to change the traditional ways of marriage by the introduction of gay marriage. Is it so important that Pete's face is black, or do the Dutch need to use their great liberal thinking again in order to make Sinterklaas a celebration for everybody? What is your solution? Leave a comment below. Did you learn something? Subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to coolermedia.nl/anystory.